In this video, you'll see how to configure Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances at scale by executing Chef recipes with AWS Systems Manager. With Systems Manager, you can use Chef recipes as command documents, specify your parameters and targets, and deploy recipes using Run Command and State Manager. To begin using Chef recipes with AWS Systems Manager, let's navigate to Chef Supermarket. Chef is a popular tool that uses collections of resources and instructions it calls recipes to define a desired configuration state for your EC2 instances. Supermarket is a directory of groups of related recipes, known as cookbooks. Let's search for a simple cookbook that can be used to install a Network Time Protocol, or NTP, client or server. Cookbooks can be downloaded via the command line, or by clicking Download Cookbook at the bottom of this page. For the purposes of this example, Let's download the cookbook from here. In order to deploy the cookbook in AWS Systems Manager, you must place it in an Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, bucket that can be accessed using a run command execution or state manager script. For our purposes, the cookbook has already been placed in such a bucket. Let's navigate to the S3 Management Console to take a look. Here's the bucket containing the cookbook we just downloaded. Let's copy its path for future use. Now let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager Run Command to make use of this bucket. Let's run a command to apply the recipes we just downloaded. Select the AWS command document to apply Chef recipes and then scroll down. Each cookbook can be customized with user-specified parameters. First, designate the source type and location of the cookbook. In this case, the source type is S3, and we'll paste in the path of the S3 bucket we copied earlier. Next, specify which recipes and cookbooks you wish to use. If the source contains multiple cookbooks, you can specify more than one. In this case, let's specify the default recipe in the NTP cookbook we downloaded. You can use JSON notation to pass additional parameters to the chef client that applies to your recipes. For our purposes, let's not include extra parameters. You can also modify execution options by passing extra arguments to the Chef client. If you want to see the results of your recipes without actually making any changes, you can turn on Why Run Mode, which will generate a report of what would have happened if the recipes were executed without modifying your instances. Finally, you can implement various compliance options to ensure your configuration adheres to organizational guidelines. In this case, let's preserve the default settings. You must also specify targets for the recipes you deploy. In this case, we'll target EC2 instances that have been tagged with the key app name and the value business app1. You can choose to write the command outputs of the chef client to an S3 bucket. In this case, let's not. Now run the chef cookbook command document. As you can see, the command ran successfully, indicating that the NTP recipe was executed on each of the instances we targeted. You've just seen how to configure Amazon EC2 instances at scale by executing Chef recipes with AWS Systems Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.